Uh, so I got my wife, Jennifer, filming. Thank you again for making this offer of a refund. I don't mean to threateningly wave a knife, but I'm going to use it to open the box. We're going to see uh, on this journey together what happens when this thing gets tested. I have uh, already lost my test tapes. Here they are. Yeah. I have uh, these are DCC tapes that this thing originally took way back in the day. They're really far out. I got a couple of DCC tapes. I'm not sure what's on them and a regular analog tape. And we're going to go on this journey together. So let's open this up and oh, look at that good stout box. That's a box that a person uses who cares about the quality of what they're shipping. Thank you. I'll have to send you the URL of the video I did about the guy who sent me the item and the box was so crappy that it looked like I was opening a sock, not a box, like a damp sock. All right, hey, look at that, bubble wrap and lots of it. I'll be the first person to tell you bubble wrap is expensive. Isn't that right, Jennifer? It's very expensive. It's a lot of bubble wrap. Well, I'm getting a good vibe, as the kids say. I'm vibing. I don't know where that term came from. But, you know, who really knows what today's kids are thinking or doing? Oh, man. And when I sell something, I'll be repackaging this, whatever it is, in this bubble wrap. And uh, it'll be the circle of life as the bubble wrap goes in to protect some other item. So pull that over. Oh, it looks nice on the side. It's got a handsome side. Okay, look at that. This is very much unlike my previous experience where I unboxed a thing that had been squished and mashed and bent. Ooh. Probably a bit of plastic. Who knows? Yep. We're just gonna pretend that that's perfectly fine. And that's probably perfectly fine. Maybe somebody at the factory when they put it together lost their uh, earring. Who knows? All right. Um, wow, it's a tough rubber band. Okay. Pardon my living room. It's a little messy. I wasn't expecting company. Okay, so it's now plugged in. I'm gonna grab these tapes. I've got some handy headphones. It does in fact have a headphone jack. So that's good. Pan that camera around, let them see. Like we're, we're serious here. We got Revox, Classic Kenwood, SAE, Reel to Reel, Sansui, Lin Turntable, Nakamichi. We're playing around. It's a it's an illness. No tape. Well, the drawer works. Again, I don't know what's on these, but we're off to a good start. I think it goes in that way. Okay, I'm gonna rewind, I guess. I had one of these decks way back when they were a brand new technology. I was on a cutting edge. I had one of these and a mini disc, and I thought that this sounded better. 
Maybe that sure doesn't like the pivot. That's probably the piece of plastic flapping around inside. Yeah, I think you're right. It's the other end of the hinge. Well, that's fixable. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really care. That's why God invented epoxy. All right, so I'm happy to report that it rewinds and it's got a bright screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although the problem with these decks is not any of that. The problem with these decks is the, all the capacitors and the digital playback uh, causing it to not have audio output. All right, now I don't see anything there, but uh, I don't know. Any what's... like meters, levels? Yeah, I don't see any levels there, but I don't know what's on the tape. Oh. So. Will it play a regular tape? Yes, it will. Okay. And I'm going to try that here in a second. We've got two tapes. Maybe there's something on the other one. That's odd. Is that the end? Did you cycle through the other side? I hit auto reverse and now it's uh, oh. now it's having a hiccup. I wasn't paying attention. Huh. It's probably user error. No. Maybe it's a tape. Ooh, I, I hear it going a, squeak. I hear it going squeak. Ooh. Well, at least it's not eating the tape. Yes. That's an odd sound. Ooh, squeal. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Will it not play if it's fast forwarding? Is it playing at a different speed? Now, I don't know what the squeal was, and again, I don't know if there's anything on the tape. So let's try another tape. That's we're off to a not a bad start. That's not a bad start. That is, as they say, something as opposed to nothing. We've already gotten further, I think, than most owners of these decks get. I never have been too sure how to tell if the tape's starting at the end or the beginning because of the way they're designed. should plug headphones in and see if the sound comes out. There was a little blink on yeah. the right side. I hear a squeak. Hmm. Squeaky. Squeaky tape. Pure silence. Well, we will be moving on to the analog tape here in a moment. <laughs> hmm. I heard a click. That does not bode well. gauges down here is things that need to be adjusted or changed or anything no because that's a lot of levers no this is all uh, okay like looping the playback okay. or when you're recording the tape to like hit buttons and like add names to okay. the tracks or dolby for an analog tape okay if you want digital or optical out okay. i can't read that far away so yeah Ooh. 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 Uh, it's not playing. Max, get out of the way. You're not an audiophile. Ooh. All right, it is struggling. Okay. Well, let's try an analog tape.
All right, so the tape I just put in, um, definitely... <laughs> yeah, a friend recorded it for us. I've heard it a few times. Yeah, the tape definitely has music on it. Is it in the it. middle? N no, yeah, it is in the middle of the tape, and it is completely silent. There's no levels. No. There, there should be audio on this tape, and nothing's coming through. This is, this is the failure mode of an old digital compact cassette deck, especially first-generation decks. They all had... A batch of bad capacitors on the DA and AD or digital to analog outputs and um, and also they had some bad capacitors on on just the amplifiers for the output after it's been turned into analog and this one is apparently suffering from that too so um, this is not it's not the best outcome but it's an honest outcome. And there is a company that fixes them, but they charge an arm and a leg. And at this point I have to decide, is that a thing I want to do? But you have seen it here. There's no output. You would have dancing meters uh, if for any sort of audio sound on the tape. We're not getting anything. And then there's that weird squeal that it occasionally does where it just stops playing. So. Thank you. I'm going to take you up on your kind offer. I wanted you to know I'm uh, sincere. Uh, thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. And um, I guess I'll stick this on YouTube because it's dawning on me now that otherwise we'll have a hard time getting this to you because the YouTube messaging system will nuke any kind of URLs, but we'll figure it out.